We're testing the Winchester Supreme Elite Bonded PDX1 and 380 ACP. This is a 95 grain jacketed hollow point and sometimes it's difficult to find good 380 hollow points but not the case in my area with the PDX1. My independent local dealers are keeping this in stock and I always seem to find a pretty good inventory of this at the big box sporting goods stores. You can probably get this online as well. It really wasn't expensive at all. $18 plus tax for a box of 20. That's not bad and reasonably priced compared to other premium brands. It is a hot load. Advertised moles of velocity of 1,000 feet per second and I'm coming in really close to that. Five shot average of 987 feet per second and that is with the Bursa Thunder that's a three and a half inch barrel. Now I know a lot of folks are carrying uh, little Rugers and so forth that might have a 2.8 inch barrel or somewhere in that range. What you're likely to get from a shorter barrel is uh, say closer to 900 feet per second, maybe a little bit less. But based on those opening shots, this is one of the warmest loads that I have shot out of the Bursa in 380 and it seems to have a pretty good report. Whether or not that translates over to ballistic performance, we're going to find out by shooting this into a block of the SimTest media that's recalibrated to ballistic gel specs. Distance of 10 feet, we'll have four layers of denim over the block. I have a tendency to shoot low and left with the Bursa, so I aimed high and right, and that's exactly where it went, to the point of aim, and it's in the block. We're going to focus on the left side of the track as I was cutting through where I anticipated the path to be. Point of entry here, we start to see some expansion about uh, one inch in. This stretch cavity running from here to here is about two inches and the maximum width or height here is about three quarters of an inch. You can see it blew some denim in. That's typically the case. And we're settling down, moving forward. There's the five inch mark and passing on through here. The track is underneath there. And there we have the bullet. It's coming in. The leading edge is at eight and a quarter inches, 8.25. Just can't seem to find a 380 that's going to break that barrier. It did make a turn. This made a turn toward the inside or toward the right. It did expand. Do not see any denim in the cavity. Let's take it out, clean it up, get a closer look. Expansion is very uniform and symmetrical. There's one of the marks, 0.658 inches. The average is 0.652, and the pedals have just a little bit of sharpness to them. I rinsed out the media that was wedged in between the expanded pedals, and you can see that even on the concrete floor, I'm getting some fluctuation in the weight. Bonded bullet, no jacket separation. The PDX-1 and 380 does have some good qualities. It is readily available, inexpensive, high velocity, and the velocities, at least in a longer barrel handgun, are very close to the advertised. Obviously, it's going to be somewhat less in your very small pocket handgun, so keep that in mind because that's going to impact both your penetration and your expansion. Expansion here was very good, very uniform. The bonded bullet is performing very well. I think it's a good design, but at the end of the day, it's still a 380 jacketed hollow point. And it seems like that the norm in these tests for 380s is going to be anywhere from 8 to 11 inches of penetration. Thanks for watching.